Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure AWS CLI on Windows Server 2022. But the process is same on Windows 11 or Windows Server 2019 or Server 2022. Open any web browser, then go to Google, then search for AWS CLI. See here the first link that is AWS CLI command line interface. Click on it. Click on get started. Then see here we have the AWS CLI install and updates instructions. So click on Windows, click on this link to download AWS CLI. So that is AWS CLI dot Amazon AWS dot com AWS CLI V2. V2 means version. Click on it. Once you click on download starts, click on it. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See its size is. 40 megabytes. See, download is completed. Click on this AWS CLI V2 MSI file. Click on it. Click on next. Select I accept terms in the license agreement. Then click on next. Click on next. And this will be the location for the AWS CLI. If you want to change, click on browse and change. Otherwise, click on next. Click on install. See installation completed. Click on finish. Now open command prompt as administrator or simply open command prompt without administrator. So CMD, right click, open run as administrator, then run the AWS hyphen hyphen version. See we have installed AWS CLI 2.17.0. Okay, this is the latest AWS AWS CLI at the time of making this video. And this is a Python version. Okay. Next, we have to configure this AWS CLI with our AWS account, user account. Okay. Now connect to AWS, type AWS, go to Google and search for AWS console. Log. Click on AWS management console. Click on log back. Sign in with root user email. Then provide the password. See the default region for me is US East one. See here, US East one. Okay. Now go to IAM. Click on services and search for IAM. Click on IAM. See here, I don't have any users. Let let us create a user. Click on users. Then click on create user. Then provide the username. After schools, select the checkbox that is provide user access to AWS management console, but it is optional. Then provide the password. Provide the password. See, don't select this one. User must create a new password at next sign in. Okay, it is up to you, but I am not going to select it. Click on next. See here we have the, if you want to add this user to a group we have to select this one. I don't have any groups. If you want to add permissions you can select here. But I am going with attach policies directly. Then select the policies. I am going with administrator access. This is just for this demo. So next click on next. See this is the summary of the user. Okay. User this is the username password that we have provided customer required password reset which means reset the password after connect we are not going to do that then administrator access this is the permission if you want to add tags click on add new tag otherwise click on create user okay. this is the console password okay download this csv file click on download go to folders right click on it edit with now click on Create access key. Select the first one. Use case is CLI. Okay. Then click on this confirmation checkbox. Then click on next. Provide any one. I'm giving same name as user. Then click on create access key. We have to download this one, not that one. Open the file with Notepad. Select Notepad. Okay. Click on done. Now go to the command prompt. Now run AWS configure. Hit enter. Now it is asking key ID. That is this is the key ID, copy it, paste it, hit enter, 
then secret access key that we have downloaded see first one is access key id see this both are same and secret access key this is the secret access key access key copy it paste it hit enter default region name see we have to provide any one of these regions okay i'm going with us east one it is up to you okay us east one hit enter default output format generally we use json we have different formats i am going with json hit enter we have successfully configured okay now let us verify aws ec2 describe instances it will give the all the instances running in this region okay so go to services ec2 see we don't have any instances running so it will give zero in this region okay if you have instances in this region again we have to configure then we have to change the region then it will give the instances in the particular region okay see it has given zero because we don't have any ec2 instances now we will see list of the users okay go to iam users see we have one user okay let us verify aws iam list users hit enter see we have only one user see this is the user if you click on it here it is arn this is the arn here also we got the same arn and this is the creation date okay let us create another user users create user give test user just click on create don't add anything just click on create click on create user we have created one more user now give the same aws iam list users see one more user is there okay so this is the way to check list of iam users cls to clear screen if you want to see the list of the roles you aws iam list roles hit enter now it has given more see the first one is this is the aws role aws service role for aws license manager role and second one is aws service role for support then it is giving more the third one this is the third one fourth one this is the snowflake aws role all done okay now if you go to the roles see we have the same roles now if you want to see the aws s3 buckets information so give the aws s3 api list buckets hit enter see we have the one bucket okay this is the creation date if you go to s3 we, you can find this bucket name go to s3 click on s3 see we have the one bucket okay so if you want to create another bucket you have to click on create bucket or you can create buckets by using this aws cl if you want see the more examples see here we have the more examples even if you want copy any folder see we have the different examples if you want to see how to drop a user see we have the different examples click on open this in new tab delete user see here we have the iam delete user this is a synopsis but if you go down we will have the examples see this is the synopsis if you want to see the examples click on it click on it see here we have the aws delete user then we have to provide the hyphen user let me do this one aws iam delete user then you user name now if you go to the iam users user name is test user you the user name test user hit enter ask confirm this typo i have to give hyphen between user and name okay then hit enter 
it is success now run the aws iam list users see now we have only one user even if you go to iam if you click on refresh see that user is deleted okay so this is the way to install aws cli and configure on windows server 2022 then we have seen then we have seen few aws cli examples for more aws or windows videos please subscribe my channel thank you